this is a how to use Audacity to slow down song. Quickly, you want to download this. If you just do a search for Audacity download, Audacity download, it'll take you to one of many places. If you click this, it'll bring you to this website right here. Please click on the link. Say yes to everything. It'll eventually take you to this Audacity Win 2.0.2. Download, install, when you're ready, come back. So open up Audacity, you'll get to the basic screen here. Um, click OK, you should get this going. Once you have that, you're good to go. You want to next go to YouTube and find uh, a video of a song that you want to download. This is the easiest way to do this. So I'd like to slow down the guitar solo and hard to handle. So I just did a search for hard to handle black crow. And then if you right click, copy link address, and then go to listen to youtube.com. So here's listen to youtube.com. Paste your URL, hit go. Now this is where you kind of need to pay attention. If you click the wrong buttons here and there, you can download it like a little virus. So don't do that. Click here, it says the download link. Don't click any of this other junk. Click that right there and you wait a second. Let the ads pop up, go away, then click download mp3. The way that you know that this is a safe file is that the file isn't just like six seconds long. It's a really small, if it's a very small file, something's gone wrong. See, this is three and a half megs, that's great. If it's like 10K, just delete it and do it again. Come back when you're ready. Once you have the file downloaded, I think the easiest thing to do is to show in folder and then take whatever this is and drag it to your desktop. That way you can find it really easily. So then you move over to Audacity, File, Import, Audio, Desktop, and it was called Hard to Handle, I believe. Um, here it is right there, Hard to Handle Lyrics. It will convert it now. Now here's what I think is the easiest thing to do, is find where you want. So I think the guitar solo is about here. Maybe over here. Okay, great. So that's good enough. So if you, if you just click right there, as long as you're using this, which is called the cursor tool, you select all that, and then just click the delete button, backspace. If you hit space bar, you should just go so I isolated the guitar solo. Let's get rid of this other junk. Now here's what I do is I control A copy or control A highlight C copy and then paste it. And then, so this is your original and this is your pasted version. Now if you want to slow this down, you go to effect and you gotta make sure you go to change tempo. Because changing speed will speed it up, it will change the pitch. Change tempo only changes the, uh, the music. So change tempo. Let's go negative 15%. Hit OK. So if you're using this selector tool, if you go over here, you'll hear at the original speed. Then if you go over here, click again, now you hear it slow down. So let's say that's not slow enough for you. If you just do Control Z, you'll undo it. Go back to Effect, change tempo. Let's do negative 30%. You'll see it'll stretch it out, and so here's that speed. Let's say you're working on this, and you've got the first part figured out. You can play the... Uh, You'll see you're struggling with that. You can just highlight it and it'll loop it. Just keep this, hit the space bar again. Anyways, there it is.